Now see next topic under vectors condition for zero result and vectors. If there are three vectors acting at a point and represented by the three sides of a triangle taken in the same order, then their resultant is zero. Suppose you have taken vector A in this side direction here, the vector B here and vector C is here. So, the magnitude of vector A is represented by magnitude and direction represented by OP and B is represented by PQ and C is represented by QO. So, vector A, vector B and vector C are representing three sides of a triangle, but all these such vectors are taken in same order. Then we can write vector A plus vector B plus vector C is equal to 0. Their resultant is 0. Also, we can write here a upon op is equal to b upon pq is equal to and c upon qo c if you are taking all the three vectors at a point here the vector a is to this side vector b is to this side and vector c is to this side angle between b and c is alpha angle between a C and A that is A and C is beta angle between A and B is gamma. Then we can also write A upon magnitude of vector A upon sine of angle alpha is equal to B upon sine of angle beta is equal to C upon sine of angle gamma. This is also known as Lamy's theorem. Sometimes this concept can be used to calculate the values of the force. Suppose if any object is there and the sum of the vectors or the forces acting on the body is 0, then we can apply this concept. And when the net force acting on a body is 0, body is said to be in equilibrium. Now, under this topic only the vector, we will be coming to the relative velocity in two dimensions.